what's going on? Tonight I have a pretty spur of the moment and random kind of tutorial for you guys and as well as mostly for myself just so I can remember this workflow. It's kind of a weird workflow and something I've tried to do multiple times in the past and haven't been completely successful but I finally figured something out that works. Basically, I was contacted by a client and I was tasked with taking a low-res JPEG image and vectorizing the logo um, so that it could be screen printed on t-shirts, um, any type of screen print. Um, you want to have a vectorized file and all that means is just a line that is infinite. You can zoom in rather than um, made up just of pixels. So. I took the logo, brought it in here into 3ds Max. I know this is not an ideal workflow for most artists, but it works for me. I love the line tools inside of 3ds Max, so I just and I use 3ds Max every day, so I just went ahead and did it in here. Um, but for this tutorial, um, most of it's going to be taking place in Af uh, I'm sorry, uh, Illustrator. So um, once I have my logo drawn out, this is all one editable spline. Um, a quick note, um, I have scaled down the logo spline to fit within the uh, one to one grid here. I'm sorry, the negative one to one and so on grid here. Um, anything that is scaled outside of this one to one grid is from my understanding a little bit too big for Illustrator to uh, really work with so um, I have placed everything within here and it works great for me so uh, what I want to do now is go up to file export and I've already saved out the file here but basically I just want to come down to save file type as and we want to save it as an Adobe Illustrator file um, I can just overwrite that and we're good to go here. Now, if I open up Illustrator, I want to go to File, Open, navigate to that, and zoom out, and you can see I've got my outline here. Now, if I open the layer, um, every the line was basically split apart in the Illustrator export. Um, for whatever reason, um, I am by far um, and from an Illustrator expert. But anyways, um, basically Illustrator at this point in time doesn't understand what needs to be, what line needs to be cut out of what. So uh, basically we need to set up this file so that Illustrator understands that. So the first thing I want to do is um, let's select one of our outline layers and um, I'm sorry, paths and we want to make sure it's selected, make sure uh, we have this um, activated box selected next to it and I just want to go to fill and I want to click the color swatch here, I'm sorry, the color mixer and we just want to make that black. I'm just going to make a black and white outlined logo, um, basically like a stencil for this. So uh, from here we want to select all of the layers that make up the interior of this letter and I'm just clicking holding control and clicking on these so I've got all of those selected you can see that these are just they live on the interior of the O so let's just uh, go back in here and click white for that now we need to repeat this process um, a little bit so I'm actually all of these X's down here I'm going to select I know there's another one there and just make sure they're active over here and we want to turn these off again I'm, I'm sure there's a way easier way to do this but uh, if you can send me a tutorial awesome I will happily learn from it but this is working for me at the moment so I've got all of those selected. These just need to be black. Nothing needs to be cut out of them. They're very easy. And um, let's go on to the G. Let's select that. And we are now here. Okay. And let's fill it with black. And let's find the interior components of this. That's not it. 
There we go. And select those layers. And fill white. That didn't do exactly what I wanted it to. Oh, this this needs to be underneath. There we go. So let's move on. Another O. Let's make that black. And just for the sake of things, I'm going to bring all the uh, outline layers to um, outside perimeter layers down a little bit. So let's find the interior, select both of those, and we just want to make it white again. Um, this is a, a little annoying, but hey, it works. So let's make this black and select the other layers that make up its interior. I'm missing a couple things. There we go. I think that's all of them. So let's go down to fill, white. And the reason they're not all showing up is because this needs to be drug a little lower. Okay, great. So we've now have the correct fill color on all of these. However, they're still all separate layers. So what I want to do now is um, let's select the, let's go with the O first. So the first one, um, we want to select the outline, the black layer, and then we want to select all of its um, associated cutouts. Let's just activate all of this. And we want to go to Object, Compound Path, Make. So now that is going to combine everything into um, one beautiful stencil. So let's do that again. Um, I don't know if I can, I might be able to select all of these and just do the same thing, object, compound path, make. That didn't exactly do what I wanted. So let's, uh, I will use my original workflow. I'm gonna bring all these X's together and select them and um, and go to object, compound path, make. So that combined all of the X's. Now this looks like a G. Let's see what G layers we're working with here. Okay, there's one, there's another, there's another. So let's select these and select the G and let's go to object, compound path, make. Now we've got the G. Let's see, um, let's do the next O. This one should be relatively easy. And there. Awesome. So now I can go to object, compound path, make. Now we've got the O. And now it should just be the rest of these. So let's make all of those visible. All right, and object, compound path, make. So now I have each of these separated out, which is really nice. And one last time, I can select all of these objects. Gotta make them visible first, or whatever this is. Indicate selected art. Object, compound path, make and everything now is one beautiful spline. So, and you can zoom in here as far as you want and it's infinitely sharp. So from here, um, I was actually asked by the client to export a PDF. So I can just go to File, Save As, and we want to select Adobe PDF. I've already put it right here, but I can do it again, why not? 
and um, I'm just using the default preset and everything else is good to go so view PDF after saving I don't have a specific application set up for PDF but uh, here we go this is what we got and I think she's gonna be very happy with this so Thank you guys for watching. I hope you learned something. Um, I definitely did through this process, and that's why I'm making this video. So um, drop a like, hit subscribe if you found this relevant, and um, let me know if you have any better tutorials out there for me on this. Um, I just I could look, but I just have other things going on right now. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.